Uh, first episode of Vendetta Mentorship, which will include the draft. Uh, basically, this idea is to pair every single intern with a veteran presence here. So uh, the interns are being, you know, have an extra eye on them. Uh, also helps me, so I'm not the only person checking on them. Uh, I think this will be more productive than Survivor and also uh, probably less harsh than Survivor, maybe. So I think it's a good idea. Um, basically, the rules, the winner, I'm the judge. I don't get an intern. Uh, the winner will get a prize of some sort. I don't know what the prize will be. We'll figure it out. Uh, if you lose, you will pick last next semester, and I get to pick some kind of Slack title to your name. So maybe it's Chick Chickster, a.k.a. Mayox's assistant. I don't know. We'll a.k.a. the out. Dickster. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so those are the rules if your intern quits. Uh, what if they just suck there? in general? You're fu well, you don't get that punishment. If they suck, they there's no punishment. They have to what fail if, what or if, quit. What if no one quits, though? But we have just like 14 shitty interns. There's just no chance. No chance. Chris Knights quit two days before the draft. There's just no chance. I mean, that so. doesn't count because obviously... He wasn't ready for prime time. I'm just saying. Right. So uh, I'm going to go over the draft order quick, and then we will be showing the one-minute videos of each intern. So these guys, this is the first time they get to see what the intern looks like. So it uh, should be interesting. Krieger will draft first. Scott is second. Uh, not here. He's going to be texting his pick. Third, Carl. Four, Cervantes. Five, Evan. Six, Brian Tan. Seven, Chad. Eight, Chickster. Nine, Jackson Law. Ten, Garrett. Eleven, Courtney. Twelve, Bagdonis. Thirteen, Kane. Fourteen, Cam. And Scarlet's the alternate in case somebody doesn't show up. So, uh, Courtney, let's just start playing those videos. Throw up whichever ones you want. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Daniel Breslovsky. I'm currently a junior at Arizona State University pursuing a degree in sports business. I'm from Santa Clarita, California. The best way to describe where that is, if you don't already know, is where Six Flags Magic Mountain is. Um, I'm a part of the Sports Business Association here at ASU, as well as the Alpha Epsilon Pi fraternity, also known as AE Pi. Um, I have previously worked at Planet Fitness, which was definitely interesting to see how some people used machines and worked out who have never been to a gym before. Um, I also worked as a marketing intern for the SIFMA Foundation of, in the summer of 2021. When it comes to sports, I have a soccer nut. I've played the game my whole life. Um, I played varsity in my freshman and sophomore year of high school until injuries prevented me from playing competitively. Lastly, when it comes to my teams that I support, it's the Galaxy, the Dodgers, Heat, Steelers, and Liverpool. I'm excited for the semester and to learn as an intern. Thank you. Chickster, let's go to you. What'd you think of uh, Brett Slavsky? Oh, I'm You're fucking muted, muted dumbass. It's yeah. Brett the Frat. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that, that, right now, that, that's my nickname for him, Brett the Frat. Uh, I'm still, I'm still, I gotta, I gotta get more information out of him. We're, we're still, we're still holding off. Okay. We're still holding off on him. Okay, Jackson, any initial takeaways on uh, Brett Slavsky? It seems nice. He at least turned his video in and followed directions, so that's a positive. Absolutely. Absolutely. Courtney, play the next one. Hi, everyone. My name is Kaylee Mixon, and I'm a junior at the University of Nevada, Reno. I'm majoring in journalism with an emphasis on public relations and double minoring in business administration and sports management. I'm super excited to tell you guys about myself. So fun things about me. I'm 21. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, born and raised there, but I live here in Reno for school full time now. Um, I work for Rockstar Energy as a campus brand ambassador. So I hand out drinks. I go to events with Rockstar and just promote it on my social media mainly. Um, something I'm super passionate about is kids and I have worked in Ghana, Africa at an orphanage two summers in the past, this past summer and summer of 2019. These are some souvenirs from it, um, just these kente cloths and a painting. I just like to share that about myself because it's one of my biggest passions and it's, I want you guys to know me um, my sports teams that I like are probably Vegas teams because that's my home and I never really had teams growing up. Um, the Knights mean a lot to me because of when they came to us right around the Vegas shooting. 
and I really like football, so I would say now the Raiders, even though I haven't been there yet. Um, but that's just a few things about me. I'm super excited to get to know you, and I hope you guys want to be one of my, my mentor because I think I'm pretty good. Carl, Kaylee thinks she's pretty good. I think she'll be pretty good. I have no reason. I mean, she seems very well put together, and that's good. Um, her stock just went way up. She's not. Her stock went way up, dude. Wait, well, Raiders team, I, bro, I was like, all right, the stock is up. The stock is going up. I'm telling you. Okay. That means you probably won't Carl. be able to draft her because you have the eighth over. <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Um, relax. all right, Courtney. I just want, well, I just want to know what all these like. I don't know what these people are signing on for specifically. That's the thing. Okay. Well, what what is your pick? We'll answer those questions. But she's a writer. Okay. Okay, Courtney. Next video. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Johan Abdu. I'm an editorial assistant intern here at Vendetta. I'm a journalism and media studies major here in CUNY Brooklyn College. Born and raised right here in Brooklyn, New York. I'm 25 years old. And uh, yeah, I'm here at Vendetta to kind of dip my toe into a little bit of everything. Uh, I want to get involved with not just writing articles, not just editing, but I would love to get involved with a bunch of other things, content creation, specifically like video editing or video making. I'd love to try my hand at a little bit of that. I want to try my hand at, yeah, just a little bit of everything operating on the, on both the front and back end of, of a sports publication or sports website. Uh, I just want to try a little bit of everything now that I'm here at Vendetta and uh, yeah, a little bit about me. Like I said, 25 years old, born and raised here in Brooklyn, New York. Favorite teams, Yankees are my favorite basketball, uh, baseball team. My favorite basketball team is the Nets. I'm not too crazy on baseball or basketball in particular. Honestly, my favorite sport is soccer. It's, it's been, a, I've been a huge fan for a while. And particularly, my focus is major league soccer here in like just domestic soccer. I think it's really, really cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, and UFC, really into UFC as well. Um, and yeah, I'm here at Vendetta just to try my hand at a little bit of everything and just hoping to meet some cool people too who can, you know, teach me a little bit of everything and let me know what I need to do differently. And and yeah, not much about me, but yeah, hoping to work with you guys in the future. Craig's Corner, New York guy. But do you trust him to edit, you know, your articles? Yankees fan, so I don't know about that. He's a Brooklyn guy. He should be a Cyclones Mets guy, but no. Okay. Uh, no comment. Hey, what was his name? Johan. Gotcha. Okay, next video, Courtney. Hi, my name is Jerry Walker. I'm a senior at Arizona State University studying sports journalism with a minor in business. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and the sports I'm looking to cover with Vendetta are UFC and soccer mostly, but I'd love to do anything with the Olympics if that's a possibility. Uh, my favorite sports are obviously soccer, ice hockey, and skiing. It's just something I've grown up doing for a long time. I support all the Colorado teams minus the Broncos, and my favorite team is probably Leeds United in the Premier League for soccer. I'm looking forward to working with all of you and getting to know you. And I'm very excited for this upcoming semester. Cervantes, you you once wrote a blog series called uh, "Soccer Education of Trey Dalbert." You know, maybe maybe you trust Jerry Walker to teach you a thing or two about soccer. Absolutely. No, I mean he's got a really good body of work already, so I'm sure he's gonna be good. Good. All right, uh, Courtney, go ahead. My name is Alex Grossman, and I'm currently a sophomore sport management student at Syracuse University. I'm from Hastings on Hudson, which is in Westchester, New York, but my parents actually just moved from there to Hoboken, New Jersey. My favorite part of high school was being on the basketball team where we were able to win the championship right before COVID started. At Syracuse, I'm involved with Sport Management Club where I help to run a charity auction. I'm the philanthropy chair of Sigma Alpha Mu, and I do some work in the Carrier Dome. I also co-host a sports podcast with a friend called The Commencement, which has been going on for about a year. I really got into sports in 2009 when the Yankees won the World Series, and I've been a Yankees and a New York Giants fan since. I was a Heat fan from about 2011 to 2015, and now I'm a Knicks fan who roots for the Lakers a little bit, 
so I think you could tell which side of the GOAT debate I'm on. For Vendetta, I'll be mostly writing about baseball and basketball, and I'm very excited to get started. Bro, that's Eric Pascal. Evan? This kid's from 914. Yeah. It's five minutes down the road from me. He's from Hoboken, Evan? which is honestly really close proximity to me, and uh, he has his own podcast. He seems very well articulated. He's a Yankees fan, so <laughs> check all the boxes. Hey, and he edited his, his own video, it looks like. Yeah, I was about to, yeah, I was about to say the slideshow. Slide yeah. yeah. Guys, guys, the stock's got to go down. He's a LeBron fan. He's getting, yeah, his teams big. are all over the place, but listen, hey, 914, bro, baby. The was, stock uh, goes down a little bit for that. but he, Alex he, Grossman. He might, he might be all right. I right, haven't Gordon. been able to hear a single one of the videos, so at this point, just saying, <laughs> you gotta fun. press tap, hey, tap for yeah, sound. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. I've sound. done that, and I still can't hear. <laughs> Fix it. I <laughs> tap for sound check. I'm not stupid. I don't know what to tell you, Chad. Okay. Maybe. Go ahead, Courtney. Pop in, pop out. Hey everyone, my name is Avin Impala. I'm currently a first year student studying business management at the University of Toronto. I'm originally from Dallas, Texas, so by default that means I'm a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. Uh, if you're looking to make a bet in this year's playoff and you haven't yet, I'm definitely going to talk to you about that. I'll make sure you place your bet on the right team. Um, as for other sports, I'm a big Toronto uh, Maple Leafs and Raptors fan. Not the best time to be a Toronto sports fan, but hoping this opportunity is, uh, allows me to distract myself for the time being. Um, I think I bring some very valuable experience to the table. I hosted a small radio show and podcast with my friends the last couple of years about sports. And um, I definitely have some great ideas and opinions that I'd love to back up. I definitely am interested in learning more about writing articles uh, here at Vendetta. And I um, definitely think I can learn a lot from you guys here. Uh, I'm a great team player and I hope you guys choose me in uh, this year's intern draft. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Tough break being a Dallas fan. It's not a good Jackson, time right now. What are, you, what are your thoughts on... Uh... Avi, like I said, tough to be a Dallas fan. He, he seems, I don't know. I feel like if I say, I, if I describe I too more much, so I'm giving man. away my scouting. I'm giving away my scouting notes that I'm writing. No, no, no. I'm, I'm more, I'm more so. Man. Paulus, hey, he, he's high on your list. I don't know. I can't. I can't say. I can't say whatever. I've got. I've got my list right here. I'm writing okay, them down as I okay. go. Okay, we're we're figuring out information. Well, he is clearly uh, Craig the worst intern. Craig Scorer, this is going to be your uh, producer. So that kid. Yeah. Perfect. I haven't talked to him yet, but we'll figure it out. All right. All right, Courtney, go ahead. Hello. My name is Kyle Ferrari. Uh, I am a senior at Carroll University, majoring in graphic design with a minor in marketing. Um, a little bit about myself. I played a lot of sports growing up. So, you know, I played soccer, basketball, baseball, football. My parents kind of threw me into everything, every sport that they thought I may enjoy playing, I guess. So, you know, I've been very involved in sports. Um, I'm a pretty big gamer. Um, so I've been interested. I've been playing video games a good majority of my life. Started off playing with uh, PlayStation 2, you know, the old Game Boys, this, that, and the other. Moved into the PC. And then that's kind of where my love for, like, digital technology and that came from. So I just wanted to, obviously, with the graphic design profession, I want to make... What I want to do with my life would be editing videos for like dream job would be editing videos for like a esports team or an esports organization, which if you don't know what that is, that's just uh, like basically professional gaming. So anything like that, working for an organization like that, editing videos for them, you know, helping with videography, taking pictures, any graphic design related stuff for them realistically would be something I look forward to doing. So yeah, that's a little bit about myself. I'm excited to get to work. Courtney? What? Kyle's a video editor. Do you trust him to run the NHL series so you don't have to do this uploading? Um, I mean, he talked a good game, but we'll have to see see some videos he edited or something. Courtney, go ahead. Hey, guys. My name is Tara Rives, and I'm a senior at Colorado Mesa University in Grand Junction, Colorado. If you don't know where that is, that's middle of nowhere between Denver and Salt Lake, and the only thing there is my college. I was born in Macon, Georgia, but I grew up mostly in Colorado. The only thing I took away from Georgia was being a big Georgia Bulldogs fan, so it's been a good 2022 so far. Uh, for Colorado sports, uh, I grew up watching them, being a big Denver Broncos fan, <clears throat> Denver Nuggets, and Colorado Avalanche fan. It's hard to say I'm a Denver Broncos fan anymore, though, because we haven't been good since Peyton left. But for the Avalanche, hopefully it's sometime soon, and I'm just waiting for it. Uh, I'm super, super excited to be a part of the team, and I'm hoping to do anything NHL-related, uh, anything I could really get my hands on. Um, I saw that 
you guys need a an NHL podcast that needs to start back up, and I would love to be a part of it in any way, shape, or form. Um, looking forward to the semester, and I can't wait to get ready to work. Carl got a sweet stash on him. He does. He does have a sweet stash on him. So I think his stock is probably going up. But I'm <laughs> gonna write that down in my notes. I did write that down in my notes. I'll admit. Six, six, six dash, six dash, um, six dash <laughs> yeah. and then like the graph going up. Like yeah, yeah it's, it, he's got like the the three green arrows pointing upwards. Uh, Courtney, how many more we got? Oh, we got three. Okay. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Doyle. Um, I'm a senior at the College of Mount Saint Vincent. I'm a member of the men's lacrosse team. Been playing for four years. Um, I'm a communications major. I'm a huge sports fan. I've been into uh, sports all my life. Um, obviously, lacrosse is a huge part of my life. I love football, uh, go Giants. And uh, with communications at the Mount, I've done a lot of classes that relate to media. I uh, did a script writing class, a media writing class, a sports writing class. Um, so I I understand, you know, what, what kind of goes into uh, writing for media. Um, and when I, you know, when I got the opportunity with Vendetta Sports, I knew that it would be a good time for me to broaden my uh, knowledge uh, on the topic. So, you know, I, I can't wait to work with everyone and see what happens. Cervantes, Mac Doyle, what are your thoughts? I'm, I mean, I'm not a big lacrosse guy, but, you know, I think that's a good addition. I remember Max doing some stuff. How are you and Carl friends? I don't know. College basketball. College basketball, clearly. <laughs> Duke, Maryland. Are you kidding me? Um, but, yeah, I think it's a good addition. The more sports we can cover, the better. Okay. Go ahead, He's got Courtney. a lot of drip. He's got some drip. I like that shirt. That was a, <laughs> like, it was a drippy shirt. I, it goes up. It goes. Stock's going up. He's got a drippy okay. shirt. Okay. What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin Franzak. I am from Cleveland, Ohio. I am a junior at Ohio University studying integrated media production with a minor in marketing and pursuing a social media certificate. Um, after I got my interview done, uh, I was so excited to be able to have an opportunity to work with Vendetta Sports Media to help edit podcasts and uh, just entertain our fans as much as possible. And right now at Ohio University, I'm currently involved with other things as well. I film Ohio University sports, such as basketball, both men's and women's. And then right now we're kind of tra transitioning into uh, baseball season. So um, we got a lot of things to look forward to. I cannot wait to get started here. And... We'll see uh, where the road leads us, but uh, that's a quick intro about me. And uh, once again, I cannot wait to get to know you guys more and start working with you guys. Thank you. Craig Corner, what do you think of Justin? Pretty put together. Pretty put together, but I'm, I think I'm ready to let, let lock in my first well, wait, Justin, what? Okay, go ahead. Hello, my name is Sean Pismov, and I'm graduating this semester with a bachelor's degree in game development and design. Uh, what confirmed my interest in game development was I was handpicked at my vocational school to create a My Little Ponies board for a client's daughter. Uh, with feedback from the client, I was able to make an excellent Monopoly board that both the client and the daughter loved. I'm also working at my college as a project manager with my groups for our senior project. It's called Legend of Styles, 2D Zelda style with elemental attacks. I pride myself in being creative. I love to strategize on projects as well as problem solve. Uh, some of my strengths is I'm detail oriented, active listener, excellent time management skills, very directional focus and communicating skills, and as the ability to take feedback as well as put that feedback back into my work. I was part of my school's esports team, and during our first semester, we were able to get to the grand finals. I'm looking to gain from this internship skills or improve techniques from graphic design so I may integrate them back into my career. Um, with that, uh, thank you for your time. Evan, what do you got on Sean? I think that he created his own Monopoly board is pretty impressive. I definitely cannot do that. Um, he seems like he could be a great asset. He seems really well versed in a lot of fields, so he could be, could be pretty good. Okay. Uh, without further ado, then. Oh, I have a question. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, just what, what are um because Carlos, Katie, and Lyndon did not have views or did not have videos. What are they like? Are they social media writing, editing? Okay. Um, Carlos is social media and marketing. Okay. Katie, social media and marketing. Okay. Um, who else didn't do one? Lyndon, video editor. 
Okay, thank you. Yep. Craig's Corner with the first pick in the Vendetta draft. It's just tough. I, I get narrowed it down to two. Both a okay. little, little bit of bias. It's between Mac Doyle, Mount St. Vincent Boy, you know, who got to continue the tree, me, Font, and now him. But listen, Grossman being from Hastings, HOH, you know, right down the street from me, you know, it's, it's an asset. Um, I'm going to take Grossman. No way. Yup. You okay. liar. Wait, was he the one with the mustache? I, I told you, I you unless liar. I was blown away by the video, did anyone else have a professional athlete in their picture? Huh? You anyone liar. else in their slideshow? Was that oh, your pick? Man. Yeah, no. I was I was doing some research and you lied to me, Krieger. Dude, I told you. I, I can't I, believe it. I had you know the right what? to reserve my one over first overall pick. I had the right you to know, choose. Why would you even tell Absolutely. Me? That's why the videos are shown. And I told you who I was it was down to, those two. I I need to be blown away by a video. Listen, Donovan Mitchell in the video. Same town, Ali Marpet, Lyman from the Bucks. So we got a little, got a little something cooking, some Westchester chemistry. Me, him, and Font, baby. Let's go. Chad, let's go to you. What are your thoughts on uh, Krieg's Corner picking uh, Alex Grossman? I wanted him. I, I couldn't hear his video at all. I don't know. Okay. Apparently, it's a big deal. Okay. I, I just want the kid with the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> all That'd right. A good pick, too. All right. All right. Good luck, guys. Krieg's Corner, thank you. Goodbye. Let, let him know. Hopefully he heard that. Courtney, let somebody else in. Probably Brian, because he's up sooner. What's up, Tanimal? What's going on? Until I get a pick from Scott, Carl's up. He's moving up. Really? So Carl, with the with the second pick in the Vendetta draft, Carl Heiser selects. Uh, I'm taking Justin Franzak. Okay. Justin Franzak. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we, we do we have a pick. We do have a pick from Scott. Bulls on this on this pick. We do have a pick from Scott. Scott takes Doompala from Toronto. Okay. What if he's the same person bitch. as me? What would you have done? I would have given it to Carl. Okay, that's what I like <laughs> yeah. to hear. Alex Cervantes with the fourth pick in the Vendetta draft. Jerry Walker. Jerry Walker. He goes Jerry Walker. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Love that. Which one is it? Wait. Wait, who's Jerry Walker? He's, <laughs> he's, he's the guy that already started working. Chixer, what are your what are your thoughts on uh Carl Scott and the Cervantes picks? I'm I'm you gonna just draft board. Scott. Scott took one of my top guys. You gonna, are you gonna reveal your draft board where those guys were on it? I I can I can tell you Dumb Paula was really good. He was he was up there. Okay. All right. I'm a little pissed at so Scott. You're, you're not you're not upset about the other picks. Not yet. Fifth pick, Vendetta Draft. Evan, selects. I'm going with Mac Doyle. Let's go, Giants. Okay. He takes the guy that Creek's corner was going to take. Oh. Jackson Law, you have any thoughts there? I mean, I thought he looked pretty good, so solid pick. Evan, how do you feel about your pick? Feeling good. Uh, fellow communications major, Giants fan. He seemed really well-versed in regards to media writing as a whole, so I'm looking forward to Talking to him about it, getting him through the ropes and all that good stuff. Okay. Brian Tan, you're on the clock. Um, you know what? For whatever reason, this name Katie Fitzgerald is um looking out at me this okay with her okstate.edu um email extension. Okay. Uh, I, so you know what? I think at the Tandemonium Sports Show, the Tanimal himself will be taking Katie Fitzgerald at number six. Okay. All right, go. she's a social go. media person, so hopefully awesome. she can post some cool stuff about the Tandemonium show. All right, all right. Hey, I, I, I felt pretty good about I felt pretty good about her. Um, you know, our, our us Irish folks got to stick together. <laughs> Chad Bauman, you're on the clock, by the way. Seventh selection. Uh, I, did we did we get a video from Lyndon Toe? We did not. Do we know anything about that person at all? He is uh, Kutztown University, Pennsylvania, uh, video editor. He needs to do 400 hours of video editing. Who was this? That he took I my stuff was messing I up. I kind of want to go mustache guy, but let me get toe. 
Okay. He goes with he goes with toe. Must Linda have. toe. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Let's go. How, how do we feel about Chad's pick? Off the grid, no video. Awesome. That's a very awesome Chad pick. pick. That that is a very yeah. Chad pick. Awesome. <laughs> well, in fairness, Chad does have a little foot, so he does. Go, yeah, he goes with Mr. Toe. That's that's what I'm, that, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Chickster with the eighth pick. Chad that, in the interim give draft. Me the stash. Give me the stash, Mateo. The stash. Give me the stash. I, he was my number one guy on my board. I'm, so the I, number I, one I, guy I, fell to you. He he fell. He fell. Vonte Mack. No matter what, he fell. Like that's a, like that's where we're at right now. I'm I'm with it. Okay. The stash. Give me the stash. I'm with it. I'm so you're thrilled, Chickster. You're not I'm mad living. anymore. You got the eighth pick. I, I man, it, it all worked out. It all worked out. All right, Jackson Law, eighth pick, intern draft. What are you thinking? I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, let's go with Bratslavsky. That's one hell of a name. Bratslavsky. Okay. Brat the frat. Brat the frat. Okay. The, you got it. He's Brat the frat. That's what it is. Garrett Burrows, you're on the clock with the tenth pick in the intern draft. Give me. I'll take uh, J Abdu. A B D U. Courtney, you're up. Um, I'm going to have to go with, with my alma mater. No, uh, I'm going to go with Haley. Okay. Bag Donuts, you're on the clock. So I think I will go for Carlos Perez. Okay. Another UNR person, Courtney. Didn't do his video. Do you feel confident in your pick? <laughs> I do feel confident. I think we'll we'll work together. You know, it may not be the the most expected partnership, but I have I have uh, high aspirations, and I'm sure Carlos does too. Kane Lander, yeah. Um, who, who do you want? I guess Pizmenov, because Ferrari was more of like a video editing and esports guy, so I feel like I can really offer him that much. Um, so yeah, it's going to be Pizmenov for me. Okay, Cam, how do you I'm feel right. about Kyle Ferrari? I feel great about a Ferrari. We'll take it. <laughs> he dropped. I, I feel like he got a steal, honestly. Carl, are you feeling confident? I'm feeling good. Justin was high on my board. A um, couple notes that I have. I think Alex Grossman was definitely deserving of being the top overall pick. I think Krieger will get okay. the most out of that pick. Um, I think best coach draft pick fit is Cervantes and Jerry Walker. And I think the biggest steals of the draft are Kaylee and Kyle. I think they're going to be really good. Okay. So those are my notes. I don't know. How are you feeling? Like, I'm just, I'm just so happy for you. Oh, dude, I'm psyched. You know, I, for doing no research and, and landing on uh, Carlos, you know, I'm, I'm ready to make the most of it and uh, see where this puppy takes us. Do we have any other final thoughts? We'll check back in in the, uh, probably the end of the month since all these kids are starting up. I'm going to win. No final thoughts? That's the final thought. Cam, anything? You know, got my best guy. (laughs) All right. I like it. (laughs) All right. That's episode one, Vendetta Mentorship. We'll check back in in two weeks and see uh, how each of these kids are doing.